All right, welcome back. Let's see. We're currently at 136. Um, I just I did some. Uh, I went back to the uh, settlement and uh, at, worked on a building, and then sent out my uh, frigate. So they're all they all just went out on expeditions. So 136. So let's get out there. See how far we can go. Pretty darn close. Alright. Are you out of jump range? Yep, you're out of jump range. Let's see. Are you within range? Yep, this one's in range. Finally uh, finished the uh, Voyager's expedition. So where's that? I got down to. I had two milestones to complete. It was the the most hostile creature and uh, a unwelcome planet. Uh, I finally got the creature after scanning uh, geez, I think I probably scanned every almost every animal on every planet um, up to almost phase four before I um, finally found a creature and then the only thing I had left up to the um, earlier was uh, I had to oh I meant to say it All right. was the uh, unwelcome planet and I spent yesterday going I went to probably 15 different systems scanned all the planets never could come up with one and finally I just gave up and uh Looked it up on YouTube. Someone had coordinates to a planet. Went back to Rondo before, went through the portal, and finally completed it. Uh, in my opinion, it was it was a lot like the uh, the um, exobiology exobiology expedition, um, which I did record that one. It was one of the first things I first time I recorded No Man's Sky. Um, and it was, I spent a lot of time looking for the flying beetle in that one. It was like, that was like that one in the eggs and I uh, finally did it, but I don't know that, that, this one was kind of like, it felt like a mixture between cartographer and, uh, the exobiology one, but I don't know this one. But by the time I finally found the creature, I was so tired of scanning planets, creatures on planets. And then when I finally I just gave up and went and looked at, looked, found a portal to go to for the, uh, to finish off the last miles on it. I was just so tired of going from one system to another, just scanning, looking for that one planet to possibly pop up. I don't know if you had to actually go on the planet um, but it said you just had to scan it. I think you should have registered if I just scanned the system, scanned the planets. But it was just. And I, right when I got to exped at the end of Expedition Five, I went and scanned. Or sorry, uh, I went and scanned. 
I want to I jump to like 15 planets around or systems around the uh, that system and scanned all the planets and never hit them and then when I ended up going through the portal I ended up in a pirate system which was right by all of those planets I just didn't go to the system <laughs> so all right so we have a forsaken planet which is uh, no fauna and then we got a hot planet we got a uh, frozen ice uh, frozen planet and we have a grassy planet another hot planet and erupting planet it sounds like they have volcanoes yeah pyrite so it's it normally pirate would be on like on, I want generally I found pirate on a desert planet but I've noticed that they that also shows up on volcano planet so erupting planet will be a volcano planet which is gonna be very mountainous all right so, on to the next one. That's a Corvac three star. That's a water. Now right, we're getting too far. What are you? All right, we'll go to this one. A little bit farther. Get a little bit more distance. Take the port, the teleporter back to the freighter this time. Talking, I got distracted. system All right, let's see. Oh. Um got a metal, so that's going to be another uh, glitch planet. That's going to be the little Ball, the ball one with the, uh, the the black ball one that glows. Um, blighted planet, so that's going to be a toxic. It's going to be a desert planet. That'll be a grass planet. That's going to be a radioactive planet and frost. So we got frost, gamma. So we got frost crystals, gamma, star bulb, cactus. Fungal mold. It has most of everything. Is it missing? It's missing swamp. What should be Fossion? I think that's pretty much all of them. So I don't. End 
another portal or into the black hole. between me and the space station in this one. So this is a Viking one with a high level of conflict. Who oh, was in the back room of this one? Go check it out real quick. Not the lamp. Alright. Oh, 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 good green. So, what do we got back here? Engine room? I don't think. I, I, want, I guess that would probably be something you have to get with. Uh, I'm sure we could probably get that. But you'd need the. Uh, probably have to use Quicksilver to buy that. That engine mount. I didn't see it for sale. And the anomaly. Alright. Alright. Back to the ship. Back to the uh, freighter. Alright, so we got a grassy planet, an abandoned planet, which is going to be desert, um, a toxic planet, a bubbling planet, so that's a glitchy planet with the bubbles, another desert planet, and another toxic planet. To this one, we can. And that one's probably gonna be too far. Oh, just a range. Okay. So we'll go to this one. Uh, 
what that one's called, what it is, a desert planet. Alright, this one, uh, Corvac, it's peaceful. I think it was said comfortable. So we got a radioactive planet, a capped planet. That's going to be a that's going to be a spore planet, a uh, desert planet. Was one I scanned earlier, and then they got a marshy planet, which will be um, swamp planet. A boggy planet sounds like another swamp planet, and then. A bountiful planet, which is going to be a grass planet. So it has one, two, two. So two of the planets are aggressive sentinels. Okay. All right. We're going to come out of the right or the left. Yeah, I'm supposed to come out over there. Black hole. Freighter. All right, so we got a cold planet, uh, a toxic planet, another cold planet, a desert planet, a hot planet. And a coal planet. So I got three coal planets in this one. Alright. Come out on the right. Nope, came out. I mean, it's gonna come out on the left, but came out on the right. Out of jump range. What's a one star? That's a one star. I guess I'll go this one.
check out the space station. So what's that one? Uh, toxin. No, it's a desert planet that cactus on it. There's a struggling economy and high conflict. So I got terraform catastrophe, which is not a whole lot of use. Uh, desolate, which is a desert. It's got cactus, and then a coal planet, which has frost crystals. Let's see. That's, that came out on the right side on that. Black hole we go. around it. Alright, so we have a, see, a calcified planet, which is going to be, that's going to be the white star looking glitch. Um, isotopic, which is, this is radioactive, a grass, hot grass planet, um, a toxic planet, and looks like another volcano planet. Okay. Yep, on the right side that time. Out of range. 
Alright, looks like you're it. So we got a mechanical planet, which is going to be another glitch planet. We have a dead planet. A wind swept planet, which is going to be a desert. It's going to be a grass planet. Grassy planet, which is probably going to be hot. And an unstable planet. With ancient bones. Copper, pirate, sodium. So it's probably going to be a another uh, let's go check it out it's either going to be a volcano or desert is my guess behind this uh, this planet here yeah there it is should be new something Probably not going to have any Pana on it. So it probably won't have Fauna. Yeah. Extremely mountainous. Yeah, it's a volcano type. be coming into view here in a few, in a few seconds. 
Nah, he's gonna try to sell me something. Alright, there's the black hole. So it's not this is not a first contact. I'm just gonna scan it and go in somebody else's system. Uh um that way. Oh, door jam. Alright, so it should have so this is a it's gonna have a desert planet. A fungal, so toxic planet, uh, radioactive planet, and a magma planet. All right. It's water. That was too far. Pirate. Wait, that one was dissonant. Get dissonant. Let's go check this one out. Minimum fragment while we're at it. I approached the traveler, the lost traveler, their skin translucent as if they were not truly there. Unexpected. Hello, my friend. What business would you have with me? The life form tries to shake my hand but pause, pauses as we phase through one another. They are fascinated, fascinated by the encounter, claiming to be a traveler. It is clear they come from a very different region of space. They have never heard of Gek, of the Gek, Viking, Korvac, or any of the sites I have encountered. They wish to know more in the spirit of cooperation. Tell them everything. I tell the traveler about the species I have encountered, sharing with them my scans, names of planets I have been to, the, wor the words I have learned. They are curious, asking more and more. Nothing I say satisfies them. Eventually disappointed, they grow quiet. They hand me a gift, thanking me for what little I was able to tell them. Glowing mineral? Oh, hang on a second. By the way, 
Alright, thank you. Your other self may give you something better. Alright. Let's see. So we got a scaly planet. That's going to be a glitch planet. Scaly? Is that going to be the those little, um, that hexagonal planet tree thing? Grassy planet? A bleak planet? So that's a desert planet. And a hot planet, aggressive sentinels, and a grassy planet. So grassy, grassy, desert. All right. And scaly. All right. So we'll go check these out. All right. So let's see. Let's see. I'll have to go farm some more here soon. See what it is, and then we'll go to the uh, harmonic camp. Scaly, unless it's the uh, no, it's, they're usually that one's usually called a fin. the hexagonal trees yeah that's kind of what I thought it was gonna be All right. so it looks like the uh, harmonic camp and the fallen traveler marker are on the same planet Charge that up. There you go. Almost there. iteration the travelers came sentinels attempt attempted to understand to serve the chosen of the atlas but we captured them attempted to kill understand consume the first drone screamed when it was cut open the fallen travelers grave is marked by a glyph an epitaph of some ancient technology extract the glyph I claim I, 
I obtain the glyph and with it the ability to travel to unknown worlds. I leave the fallen traveler in peace. Alright. So we got a memory fragment. Alright, water tech, underwater tech. So go ahead and break these down. Starship, starship, starship. Okay. Go out and then we'll, uh. Now, we travel over to the harmonic camp. Alright, let's wait for him to get here. Where are you at? There's a the frame. There's a the frigate. Try this again. Scan memory registers. Alright, so. So it'll be 15, 5, 11. 15, 5, 11. 15, 5, 11. 15, 5, 11. Deactivate multi tool. Okay, this is a spike. class
Pretty close to the camp. So it's an A class? Okay. Now, if this planet had a bunch of, uh, what's it call it, the uh, cargo pods, you could use the uh, exocraft, scan for the cargo pods, and drive to it because it's pretty flat. Take off. They're probably going to move up. There you are. Yeah, they go in there. So. So the bottom and the uh, top, they kind of they raise up and, and then kind of go to an angle. So there's the back, there's your coordinates. So it looks like it's maybe a red and a yellowish or green. I don't know, I'll have to look at it in space. There's the front view, a side view. for the catalog with the coordinates All right. All right, so I'm going to test something. scan drop pod where is it at over that way oh need to switch ships take us to get there. 
This is a pretty flat surface. longer than I thought it was. They're kind of spaced out. This thing will plow through pretty much anything on the planet. And you can also shoot the uh, radiant pillars with it once you've upgraded it. Fast work of the those two. So you can use those to find drop pods. Well, this is a good pod planet to use because you can use it to, uh, you can actually drive around the planet on it. jump all right go this one
All under freighter. Scan and then we'll uh there's like another traveler up there. Yep, another traveler. Okay, so we've got a corrosive planet, an arc, so we got um, it's a toxic, cold, that's going to be a glitched cable planet, that'll be a dead planet, super critical, so it's radioactive, and cold, so cold, cold, uh, radiated, and toxic. All right, let's see how far do we get. Wait a minute, we got a black hole to go through. Stuck on the rail. Start out at 136. Frigate's popping in. We got a cold planet, a dead planet, an irradiated planet, a shattered planet. That's going to be a glitch planet. I'm guessing that's going to be the one with the, the hexagonal trees. A uh, foggy planet. That'll be a marsh or swamp. It'll be a swamp planet. And then a toxic. So toxic. Uh, toxic swamp irradiated or, uh, dead and cold alright so how far do we make it alright we're at 89 so 90 100 so it'll be 40 Close to 40? Alright, I'll have to do the math. 
Let's see, 36, 26, 10, 6, 26, 6, 26, 16, 6, 96. Okay, so we didn't quite make 40. So we're around, probably around somewhere 30, 34-ish, I think. Somewhere around there. Okay. All right. Till next time. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Leave a comment down below. And hope to see you in the next one.